it's an exciting time. It's been years since I've been able to play a real piano anytime I want. You see the space right over there? See that? Oh, right there. Yes. How are you feeling? Tired. You're the, you're the only one who's like training with muscles and stuff. No, I'm tired. This is heavy. This is a beast, you know? I was like, oh, two or three people. This is like a four person. More like about 400 pounds here. And you're doing some construction. Is that why the mask? Yeah, construction. Right. COVID construction. COVID construction. I brought mine, I'll put mine on too, so you don't, so you don't feel silly. Yeah, over, over I don't want to feel, feel left out. Back's a little tight, yeah. but feeling strong. A little bit. Feeling good. I love I love how you're helping. I'm not helping at all. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't help. He, Chris comes over, he's like, what are Here. you doing? Like, we're moving a piano. All right. Good luck with that. Yeah, you know. He's got the beer and he's cheering us on. Yeah, it's all good, we man. need that support. I love it. Some music books in my car that were a gift. I've been waiting so long for this moment. This is called a fake book. Chord charts, no notes. Fake book. Bet you didn't know that. It's real. It's a real piano. Oh. It's like if you're. You're used to driving a high-performance luxury car and then suddenly you get a rental and there's nothing wrong with the rental that takes you from point A to point B but it's a stick shift Ford Geo Metro and, and, and you haven't driven your, your high-performance vehicle in a long time. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. This, this was like my first introduction to Coldplay. Oh, God. Song. It's a high, high song. It's a high song. We're gonna move on. I believe in yesterday when the rain is blowing on your face and the whole world is on your case. I could offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love I've been thinking a lot about lies. Lies that I believed about myself and lies that you have believed about yourself. And I think we all let certain voices into our lives that speak things that aren't ideal. It can be family, it can be friends, it can be even ourselves speaking deep-seated untruths about who we are. You're too old, you're too beat up, you've had too many second chances, you've made way too many bad choices, and you are beyond repair. Nobody, nobody likes you. No one really truly loves you for who you are. And all of these voices, all of these lies cut to the core. And why? It's because they speak about your worth. They're speaking directly about your value. What I'm learning about my life is to only listen to the voices that build me up. And I'm not talking about blowing smoke and make me feel good constantly, but voices that authentically speak truth in a loving an edifying way. We all have a story where we've believed a lie that in some way has defined us for too long. Some of you might 
be holding on to a story from childhood where a friend or family member spoke or did something to you that defined you and spoke untruths into you and added negative value into your life. And you might be holding on to that even now. So today, let me just be one voice of reason, truth, and authentic beauty in your life. I've needed that at times. I know you need that too. You're never too old. You're never beyond a second chance. There's always room for restoration. And something beautiful can be made with your life. If, if you and I surrender to the creator who's constantly making something beautiful in his creation. I like to think of God as this master musician, orchestra conductor, who's in the business of restoring instruments. And he's always able to, under the power and direction of his hand, take something that is old, something that is broken, something that is beaten down, and give it a new identity and make something beautiful out of it. It's all about whose hands you're in. And here's the thing, we can't restore and fine tune and polish ourselves. It's an act of surrender that's daily. So whose voice are you listening to? Whose hands are you in? Are you willing to be tuned, polished, and restored? Not so that you can look cool, but so that you and I can contribute to the beautiful symphony that's being played with the orchestra of creation all around us. So let's surrender and let God make something beautiful out of our lives. All right, you ready to end it? One, two, I am so proud of you. I'm superhero. You want to do superhero? Okay, yeah. say, tell everybody how old you are. Three. Yeah, he's three. Okay, love you, buddy. Let's go. Oh, all right. Hey, if you like the videos that, that I'm putting together, uh, I would love for you to like, share, comment, subscribe. Carpe Stinkin' DM. See you guys next week.